Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, January the 30th, 2015, and this is episode 2513. We wrap up this week in our discussion on prayer, and specifically prayer in the life of David. My name is Bruce Turner, and I bring you greetings from our home here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Thanks for being here today. In Psalm chapter 123, and this was actually part of my Bible reading plan this morning, and let me encourage you, uh, if if you have a smartphone and you're not using the version, a Bible app, boy, it's such a blessing. So many great things about it, so many reading plans. So many different unique opportunities to engage with the Word of God and now in the newest version to engage with other people that you follow and who are following you as you read together. It's just a a tremendous blessing. But in Psalm chapter 123, David prays a prayer for relief from contempt. Now, what I'd like to do is to set this up before I read it because it's just a short psalm. But I have to begin by admitting a struggle that I have. The struggle that I have is has to do with the contempt that we see on every hand for anything Christian, anything godly, anything regarding the scriptures, the Bible, this secular society that we find ourselves living and just looks for all kinds of opportunities through various media to poke fun, criticize Christianity and its followers. And so sometimes I, quite honestly, I just get angry and frustrated. And of course, when we respond that way, we only add fuel to the fire. So I think this prayer this morning suggests that one of the better opportunities that we have to deal with this is to pray. And then the other, I think, obviously, is to continue to follow God and live for God, love people, because love covers a multitude of sin. They'll see your good works and glorify God. So here's the prayer. Unto you I lift up my eyes, O you who dwell in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, as the eyes of the maid of of the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. For we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorn of those who are at ease, with the contempt of the proud. So what did David do? He brought it to the Lord. He said, Lord, my soul is exceedingly filled with the scorn of those who are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. And let God replace your angst and your frustration and your anger with his peace. Watchman Nee said this about prayer. This is so good. Negligence in prayer withers the inner man. Nothing can be a substitute for it, not even Christian work. Many are so preoccupied with work that they allow little time for prayer. Hence, they cannot cast out demons. Prayer enables us first inwardly to overcome the enemy and then outwardly to deal with him. I love that. Prayer enables us first inwardly to overcome the enemy and then outwardly to deal with him. Father, there is an enemy and the enemy is Satan and his demons. Our enemy really is not the people who have been taken captive by his wiles and they frustrate us at times Lord help us to pray and bring that to you 
so that we can respond in a way that would draw them to yourself. Indeed, as somebody said years ago, I'll never forget, help us, Lord, to be a winsome witness. To remember that before people can receive Christ, they have to be able to receive us. Else our witness is worthless. So thank you, Father, for your peace that passes all understanding, even in the midst of contemptuous feelings and thoughts. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website, morningmana.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. If you're new to Morning Mana, you can subscribe to Morning Mana via iTunes. Listen to this and other archived episodes on our website. We're also at TalkShoe.com. I have a YouTube channel where all of these are there. Uh, I share them always on Facebook. I'm Blue Ridge Bruce. On Twitter, I'm Bruce S. Turner. Google Plus, I'm Bruce Turner. You'll find me there as well. Thanks for liking and sharing, for listening, for joining me this week. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.